Look, look at Kusa. He's rocking that Bob Ross. Oh, I'm a fan of that yeah. shirt. Yeah. Paint, paint your own combo. Uh, there's no such thing as whiffing, just happy no little accidents. No, it's a, there's no such thing as a drop combo, just happy little resets, bro. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we get to see something from Kusa versus Sweet T. Rob, he's definitely been a, a character that a lot of people have been talking about. Yeah. Like, he's able to get those combos up, but he himself is vulnerable to these combo strings due to his size and his weight as well. Yeah, now, we have some mobs here in SoCal. Uh, Kira Flax, obviously, probably being our go-to one here. Uh, I'm curious what Sweet T's matchup knowledge is with him, or any sort of experience he might have, because I'm not familiar with it myself. Um, but we'll see how familiar he seems to be with this game. Yeah, no, he, uh, Sweet T and Kira have do face against each other in friendlies as well, so he yeah. should be a little informed about the Rob matchup. And we're seeing already he's got a nice big of a lead, and as soon as he sees that Kusa reaches that 45%, you automatically switch to Ivysaur to get to those better projectiles. But great use of that oh. Kusa with those combos. Not gonna kill just yet, but he's going oh so my God, deep for these it. edge guards. Kusa takes stock just like that. Amazing Rob play, realizing that he's got the potential for these edge guards and takes a stock just like that. Yeah, and we saw that start off at like 40% with the gyro into the side beam, put him in such a bad spot. And Rob able to stall down there so long with the burner, that he's just able to wait for a back air and get a really early stock on Sweet T. Yeah, because most pro players, they'll just know that they're in for a safe recovery, so they'll just automatically go back to the ledge. But as soon as I saw Kusa stalling that long, I'm like, is he going to go for this edge guard? And then he does 28% on Sweet T. He's going to throw him right off. And remember, Pokemon Trainer. Most people call it nerfs, but a lot of people have been calling it buffs recently with this Charizard, and it does take the kill. Yeah, it, the changes to Pokemon Trainer were love. Hey, we made Ivysaur not insane. Mm -hmm. We made him more in line with what we feel character should be, but we also brought Charizard up to that same line, making him more of a viable character. He was already played a little bit, but now it feels like there's a lot more reason to play him. Aside from just trying to survive a little, you know, he has a lot of really good tools now. Mm -hmm. Because it used to be, the argument was for before the patch came, is that, oh, you would use Charizard for kill, but but people are just like, you can get kill setups with Ivysaur, yeah. that's much, much safer and more consistent. So Sweet T forced back onto the Ivysaur. Kusa doing such a good job controlling with his gyro, I like it, and he's zoning away. He knows that he doesn't have the advantage. Yeah, and Sweet T really pressed right now to find an opening. He's just trying with these Razor Leaves, but Kusa knows he has just as many projectiles on deck as Sweet T does. Yeah, but it's forcing right off stage. Oh Almost God. got the spike. Sweet T so close for it, and he uses the up air to propel himself downwards. Looking for an opportunity. Kusa does the grab just barely, but he does use the laser 139%. Sweet T gets hit up with the up smash, so Kusa already with this really impressive lead, but how long can he hold it on for? Yeah, the Charizard is right out right now, so it's gonna either end his stock pretty soon, or he's gonna put a bunch of damage onto Charizard, and there is no in between. Mm -hmm. And here comes the down throw. That should have been. Oh, he oh, baited the air that? dodge. He baited the air dodge. And he another one. He's ready. Kusa, what are you? What are you thinking right now? Just like a robot, he says download complete. And Sweet T going for the edge guard. Nice tech himself, but he can't get too crazy for it. Kusa is on a roll right now, throws out his gyro. He's going to use his backer to reverse himself with the fair. Unable to take the stock just yet, 136%. Rob is still alive, and he dodges out the, he dodges out the grab. He's on fire, but finally gets his stock taken. Yeah, and Sweet T going to switch immediately back to the Squirtle. Says if he can get one opening, that should be big damage onto a character like Rob. Back here into a photo that's 17, but gyro from below the ledge. Yeah, he's doing such a good job. Kusa uses that laser a little too close, so Sweet T to get a small little punish and great usage of the back air to propel himself. But Sweet T, once again on lockdown, making sure that he can't do it. And these air dodge reads from both of these players are working out so well for them. Yeah, and Kusa looking for attack onto the platform. Sweet T just opting to go back towards the ledge at least. And if there's something I want to say, Kusa's gyro control is incredible in this yeah. match. He's been playing around his item so well. Looks for the up smash, but doesn't find Sweet T not able to get a punish. Yeah, and now to find it, this is such a tight set with four minutes left on the clock. That fair catching out one more. This is a last oh! of situation, and a great job by Sweet T to take the stock with his Vine Whip. Game number one goes into Sweet T's favor, but my god, what a back and forth match. Yeah, and that was a honestly pretty solid comeback from Sweet T. Not necessarily what we expected to be saying at the start of this game, where Kusa started off amazingly strong, but Sweet T able to just inch his way back, 
bit by bit and able to finally close it out. That just shows how great, that this is why these top players are here. They have such great mentalities. They don't let these comebacks shake them. They're the ones who can strike back hard. But Kusa, impressive play on this Rob I've yet to see so far. Whew. So starting off, game number two with a footstool as well, leading into that Nair, and he's gonna go for the scrap. So remember, Squirtle wants to go for those grab setups. That's going to lead into those combos. So you can start easily baiting him out with these arrows and just bait him out and then use him with a drag down up there. Interesting. I have yet to see that from Rob. Yeah, and right there, just sweetly able to battle his way back onto stage with the withdrawal. Let's get away with it just for now, sweetie. Well, I'm not the arrows. He's got the dry one hand, but the back air finds its Marakusa. Trying to switch him off, but he dodges the grab. Sweetie going for those a lot. He's getting punished for it. Yeah, and it looks like that hitbox on the back here on the downer lasts just a little bit longer than Sweet Jeez. Tea is used to, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it looks like he's jumping in, getting hit by like a later hit of it. And it's really oh, no way. By him. He fell out of the side B because of the platform placement. Sweet Tea, very lucky right now. And if you saw Kusa over there, he wasn't too happy about that falling out. He uses the up or making sure that he's going to be safe, getting back onto the stage. Gyro once again finds its mark. Sweet Tea instantly switching over to the Charizard, which doesn't keep him alive, it actually. killed him off the side. What? Sweet Tea DI'd outward for his life, trying not to die off the top, but instead go straight to the side. Unfortunately for him, so Kusa staying alive. Great use of the water, gonna try to force him out, but Kusa recovers high. He actually does go for the downer, knowing he's got the range this to afford it. down. Do not come up to speak to me. Don't edge guard me. I know exactly what you're gonna do. That edge guarding oh will be done by yours truly. Kusa controlling the match, he uses the fair once more. He's doing such a good job, but. A throw won't kill him. Great masher. I think Sweet Tea was waiting, was for, the waiting for the platform to come. Yeah. So thankfully he's got it out. Laser forces him out. And once again, this gyro, this projectile control. Sweet Tea feeling a little overwhelmed. Great beam reversal once more. Look at this, this gyro control. Okay, Kusa, you're sick. Yeah, it's the it's the tech that a lot of Mega Man players use, the instant Z drop. Yeah. But this time, Kusa using it to his own advantage. He's able to shield it out for the back air. Finds the mark. So Sweet Tea, he's switching over he's to dead. Squirtle. You can't do that. It looked like he used the neutral beam. Maybe he would try to do the animation cancel swap. Uh, we see, you know, you have to do a special and then you can switch faster than normally just waiting for it. Maybe that's what he was going for there, but he got caught jumping out of the neutral beam with, or by an up air in that cost. He got stock. caught slipping. Yeah. That is exactly what happened. Sweet T, hopefully he's got a comeback marked on his name, because right now, stock down already. I mean, he's a he, fine way. He did start the, uh, make a comeback on the last game. He was down quite a bit as well. That's a dangerous spot. Mm -hmm, and great tech. So Sweet T going for a hard read. Goodness gracious, that up smash does quite a lot, especially if you're able to hit it. But the up air, once again, Kusa is just walling him out with these aerials. And he gets the tilt off, does get Good the kill. Lord. Yeah, that's the buffs, came in. Yeah. Those are the Charizard buffs. Everyone's been talking about just air dodges away from it, and that's going to be a punish. So hopefully Sweet T can get a lot of combo off it. Able to finally get back back air, trying to find it's trying to find a hit somewhere, but Kusa on him will to really find it just yet. Uses the nair once more, such a lingering hitbox. Sweet tea. He's looking for something right now. Remember, a comeback are not in the pop-up. No, what he's seen, it. he's cut off the recovery. Kusa has got game number two under his belt. Yeah, and he just sat down there, put the side B out in front of Sweet T's face and said, no matter where you go, you're going to swing at an arc that puts you in this. Yeah, that's the people we've been talking about. A lot of people have been saying, oh, these uh, these recoveries that require you to latch into ledge are exploitable. And people are like, what are you talking about? And Kusa perfectly demonstrating what it's got because it completely cut off Sweet Teeth because you don't get that in roll ability until you attach onto the ledge, not when you're grappling towards it. Oh, is that the mid set coaching? No, I think <laughs> I think uh, she's just offering him water. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the, that's the relationship I strive for, right? Yeah, I mean, get someone that supports you like that, man. Mm -hmm. Coming in, saying, you need a wall break, you good, you good. You like, like Lauren, oh. remember he went up to Elegant after that? That was that yeah. was like, that was really wholesome. But Kusa already starting it off. Oh, if that was any other character, that would have been it. But Kusa acknowledging, he knows that the fact that his recovery is very, very good. So Sweet Tea Kama starting up with this combo, looking entirely different oh. from game number one. We're looking like Smash from Mario with these up airs. 
Yeah, he says, I don't need a water break in between. I have all the hydration I need here with my Squirtle. Near into the fine wind. <laughs> Sweet tea. He takes the first duck just like that. They saying to Kusa, yeah, you got me on those first match. You got me on the second match. But this third one, I'm going to eviscerate you. And he's starting off with his combo. He's on fire right now. I feel like he's already put the fire out with all the Squirtle stuff he's got. All this water coming into play. He's walling him out. He's ledge trapping him. And using the withdrawal as well up air once more. He baited out the air to watch, unable to find anything itself, but he's using it again to chase him down. Kusa can't escape. Yeah, Kusa looking like a looking a bit short circuited here. Cannot handle the squirtle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lot of damage coming through. Sweet team. Entirely different player we've seen. Yeah, and sometimes that's the PR privilege right there. When you drop a game, you get this level up saying, I can't be losing my round two of pools. Come on now. But Kusa is going to even up the stock count at least. Gets a, Rob actually has some very strong combos on a lot of characters. He can get a lot of damage going, but can he make up this 127%? Oh. He gets launched across, so Sweet T definitely going to look for a Vine Whip. Potentially almost read the almost read the air dodge, but not to find anything. Goes for the downer itself, knowing it's really safe on shield. And here comes the grab from Kusa. Kusa. Interesting swap right there. His gyros are trading, but remember, he's at 146%. He's got to be careful. And Sweet oh. T pressuring him. That was a scary dash dance. I'll give Sweet T that. Spot dodge up, B. Yeah, he baited out knowing exactly what he was going to go for. Just go for that spot dodge. Because Kusa, he's just like Sportle. He just he just goes for those grabs, try to get something down. But you can't keep going for it because a, car uh, because a player like Sweet T can get these reads down and get so much damage off in the meantime. Yeah, already 57% on Kusa's last stock here. He reads the roll with the... Jesus. I thought Sweet Tea killed himself, honestly. Squirtle with a pretty good drift. Yeah, Squirtle is able to stay safe. He actually dodges it out, goes for the smash attack, but withdraw, unable to find its mark. Kusa, he waited for the switch. Really intelligent play from him, but he's got to get something down because Sweet Tea is a full stock ahead, and Kusa's on his last one up here. Clips him out for a little more damage. He's looking for the Vine Whip all the way up in the blast zone. He can't even see what he's aiming at. Oh, oh! No, he ran 2 4 forward and picked up the gyro, I think. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be really cool. Goes for the down. Down there, he w knew he was going to go for the air dodge, but Sweet Tea was able to escape just in time. He parried it. He knew exactly what he was going for. Kusa, he's got a lot of rage to work with, so hopefully he's got something planned. Yeah, Kusa is down but not out. Rolls behind and gets a forward smash. Quick 19% punish. 134%. Can he make this comeback? Oh, Sweet Tea, seal it out right now. The percent star rack up slowly on Sweet Tea, but he's still playing the neutral. He's not it down here. Comes the down Travel tilt. Into the side special. It won't cut him just yet, but Kusa, he's got Charizard to deal with, and the grab misses barely. This is such a high pressure situation coming in from both players. He tries to call it out. The gyro is in Kusa's oh my hands. God. He's got the back here with his name on it. Sweet Tea takes game number three and will be advancing forward. Pokemon, and Kusa storping in the. Pain. He brought the comeback all the way to Sweet Tea, but Sweet Tea actually throwing the back.